FLT3 inhibitors are probably one of the most important game changers in the treatment of acute myeloid leukemia. These have now been uh, approved in the frontline setting through both the uh, Midastorin and Quizartinib in the Ratify and the Quantum First study, as well in the relapse setting uh, with Giltritinib approved through the Phase three randomized ADMRO study. Now more recent data suggesting that uh, not just in the frontline setting in combination intensive chemo and not just in relapse setting, FLT3 inhibitors may also have benefit as maintenance treatments, uh, both post allotransplant, and this was shown by the phase three international randomized morpho study led by Mark Levis, where they actually showed that in patients who had a detectable molecular ultra-sensitive MRD pre or post transplant, there was a clear relapse free survival benefit with the addition of giltritinib as a maintenance post transplant and also post-intensive in induction consolidation patients who cannot go to transplant, there is a benefit of continuing the FLT3 inhibitor. In this case, this was quizartinib through the quantum first study. So I think in every setting today, when we see a FLT3 mutation, we are considering use of a FLT3 inhibitor, either in combination of intensive chemotherapy or in a maintenance setting, either post-transplant or in patients who cannot go to transplant as a long-term maintenance uh, after induction consolidation. Even in older AML, where historically the treatments were with HMA alone, which gave about 20-30% response rate, we then moved to HMA venetoclax, which gives about a 60-70% to 70 response rate in FLT3 mutated AML. We're still seeing that with HMA venetoclax doublet, the survival in FLT3 mutated AML is only 11 to 12 months. So even though the response rates went from 20% to 60%, the survival has not gone up that dramatically. So here we have started adding targeted therapy, such as FLT3 inhibitors, to the HMA ven backbone while also reducing the duration of venetoclax so we don't have too much myelosuppression. And this combination of HMA venetoclax giltritinib was recently published in the JCO by our group showing very high response rates, 95% CRCRI and a two-year survival now of 70%, which is very good compared to HMA ven where the two-year survival is about 25, 30%. So we do think that even in this older unfit AML population, with the FLT3 mutated patients, the addition of a FLT3 inhibitor is going to be critical as it has been in all the other settings in younger patient populations and maintenance. So I think we're seeing a lot of progress in this group. The survival today, both in younger and older FLT3, is two to three times higher than it was 20 years ago. And I think the FLT3 inhibitors will continue to be major players in AML treatment.